Hello and welcome to Sports 5 TV. We're here with British Paralympic sprinter Olivia Breen. Thanks very much for joining us. That's okay, you're welcome. Hello. <laughs> Firstly, Olivia, you're part of the Sky Sports Scholar System. Can you just tell us a little bit about how it's benefited your career? Okay, so basically, um, they've really helped me. They went, they sent me to Oakland's College in St Albans and they got, opened lots of doors for me, got new coaches, Joe's and Julie. I couldn't really ask for Sky without them. Like, I went to Tenerife for training, I've got back from Tenerife last night for training, for getting ready for the, the World Championship in Doha. And having Sky, like, I couldn't have done that without them, it's really good, it's really helped me. It's opened so many doors for me. And having media training as well, because I obviously completely quite fast, and media training really helped me as well. So it's been, it's opened a lot of doors for me, so it's been really good. We've just sat through a debate about a confidence crisis in youngsters. Is there anybody in your career that's helped boost your confidence for when you've gone out to run? My coach, my coach Jones and Julie, they both helped me a lot. You know, they give me a lot of confidence, obviously, that was the psychology as well, you know, mentally as well, but trying to work out my head, you know, trying to be as confident as I can, trying to do it in the race stage. So they've really helped me. I couldn't really have done it without them. And when you were younger, is anyone you sort of looked up to as a runner that thought you thought one day I can be just like them? Not really, I don't know. Like, obviously, you said Bell was my goal, but I don't know really. Like, I just love athletics, I love running. Like, when I was younger, I, was, I ran everywhere. I've got a twin brother, and he really helped me because obviously, when I was younger, I was obviously very wobbly. And now, the sports really helped my balance and everything, my coordination. So, it's obviously, you really have my disability. So, it's been really good. And I don't really know who I looked up to. I just love running, so yeah. <laughs> what was it that got you into running as a kid? Um, so sports day, I always loved sports day. I was like, I, school wasn't really my thing, but sport was. I always beat everyone. I was thinking, like, I'm the same. Why am I beating able-bodied people? Like, what's going on? <laughs> so um, sports day was my thing, and my mum and dad were like, let's go, let's get you to an athletics track. And I went down to sports when I was 13, and I tried it out there, and I had it took me on from there. So it was really good. Beat for the City of Portsmouth Athletics Club, as you mentioned, against able body competitors. <laughs> How did you get on? Did you beat them? <laughs> I beat quite a few of them, but I was obviously always at the back of the field, you know. Obviously, that was obviously also that lots of confidence as well, and trying to be get them, you know, trying to get as fast as I can. It was really, it was obviously quite hard being that at the back of the field, but it really helped me as, a, as an athlete, you know, being really confident. So it was really good. Yeah. Your first ever international competition was the 2012 European Championships, <laughs> in which you won a bronze yeah. in 100 meters and the 200 meters. Yeah. How was that to be your first <laughs> appearance at Team GB? It was crazy. I was just a bit like, I'm 15 years old. What am I doing here? <laughs> but yeah, it was really exciting. It was really good. It was a great experience for Paul London 2012. And obviously being in part of the 2012 Paralympics, you know, it was really exciting. And having, having the experience from the Europeans and going to the Paralympics was a big difference. But it was really good to have. And yeah, it was really exciting. And obviously you were a big part of the Olympics and uh, Paralympics in London. How proud were you to be a part of that? Oh, it's amazing. I got the call when I was in school and my teacher would look at me but I had a stranger like, why are you getting, why are you getting, I'm like jumping up and down and I was like, I need to take this call, British Athletics is telling me I've been selected and I was like, I can't do anything but I need to take it and he was like, okay, you can take it and it was just amazing, the dream came true, you know, competing for GB and obviously my school and the crowd when I won the bronze medal for the relay and it was really good, it was really exciting. Four years down the line for 2012, Rio 2016, <laughs> I know that I've read that you're excited about it, do you think a medal's within reach this time? 100% definitely. Obviously my own individual medal would be really good. I've got the world in, in a month's time so hopefully I'll get a medal then and hopefully that'll be a good lead up to Rio so I'm really looking forward to it. You mentioned the worlds in the next few months. Say in the next six months, is that just your goal? Is there anything else you want to achieve leading up to Rio? Uh, obviously the world was in the month so just keep training really hard, keep healthy. I'm always going to go away warm weather training quite a few times, you know, and Rio is my goal so that's what I'm working for and that's my big aim, definitely. Liv, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks very much for joining us.